Disclaimer. The contents of this video are purely for speculation and theory crafting. The purpose of this is to give free to play players a general idea of what to expect for upcoming patches. All the information mentioned in this video is available publicly and the sources will be mentioned in the description below. Please note that this information is subject to change when the patch goes live. Please take this with a grain of salt. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about something different. I came across some interesting information about the characters which we are getting in the 1.1 update, Jinshi and Chang Li. This data mine information was found in a website and I'll leave the link for that website in the description below. This information definitely helps free to play players in that it helps you decide which character you want to pull for or not. Considering the limited resources we have, I believe that's a very crucial information. This will definitely help other players too, but this is more catered towards free to play players. With that being said, let's head right into the video. Alright, so first things first, the source. The source is up on the screen right now. This link will be in the description below as well. Most of the information which I'm basing this speculation on was found in this website. There are other places where the same information is available too, but this website had it in a more detailed form. So I picked this one. Alright, with that out of the way, let's bring in the ladies. First up, we have Jinshi and then we have Changli. Why do I think Changli is bigger than Jinshi? Well, duh, what kind of question is that? Of course, Changli is bigger than Jinshi in a certain area. But never mind, that's not what we are here to talk about. We are here to talk about why Changli is better than Jinshi in terms of their kit. Guys, come on, guys. We're talking about the kit and the abilities and the usability of the character. In my opinion, Changli is a better character than Jinshi based on the data mine content which I've seen. This is specifically in terms of longevity. Free to play players would like to pick a character that they can use for a long term. So keeping that in mind, Changli is a better pick. The reasoning for that will be explained in the video when I go over their kits individually. Let's start with Jinshi. Jinshi is a 5 star spectro element broad blade user just like Jian and Kalcharo. Her basic attack is nothing special. It's a 4 hit combo, it can do a heavy attack and a dodge counter and it does spectro damage. Her resonance skill is a bit different. It has a special empowered stance which I'll talk to briefly when I discuss her forte skill. Her resonance liberation is fairly simple, it's a 2 hit attack. The main thing to note between her resonance skill and liberation is that they both can be cast mid air. That's a good point to remember. Now comes the wall of text. Let's look at the outro skill first. When she performs her outro skill, she grants a buff to every party member. This buff is important when we discuss her forte circuit. Up next. The Forte circuit, I'm not going to go into too much detail because there's a lot of information in here and these wordings might be subject to change. But the TLDR is, she needs to build stacks and once she reaches a certain amount of stacks, she enters an empowered state where her basic attacks and resonance skill is boosted. One of the main ways she gains these stacks is by the buff she grants when she uses her outro skill. Whenever a party member attacks or damages something, when they have that buff, they grant Jinshi one stack. Once she reaches maximum stacks, she enters the empowered state and does big boy damage. Now that's just a quick rundown of what she does. From this we can concur that she is a main DPS character. Now let's take a look at her weapon. Her weapon is an attack and crit person broadblade. This is the second crit person broadblade which we have in the game. The first one being the one from the battle pass. The passive boosts additional damage for all attributes and gains stacks whenever you use a basic attack. When the stacks reach a certain amount, it consumes them and boosts your resonance skill damage. And that's Jinshi. From what we've seen, she's a main DPS. Now let's move on to Changli. Changli is a 5 star fusion element resonator who uses a sword as a weapon. There's a huge wall of text for this one too, so please bear with me. The easy way to understand this is, when Changli performs her basic attack combo, she enters a certain state. During that state, every attack she performs, including her resonance skill, gets additional effects. That's a very broken down way to explain it, but we'll get into more detail when the character comes out. She can enter that special stance using her intro skill as well, and when she casts her resonance liberation, she boosts her own attack power. So kinda like a self buff, if you will. Now for the big piece of information. The reason why I say Changli is better than Jinshi is because of her outro skill. Her outro skill buffs fusion damage by 20%, and resonance liberation damage by 25% for 10 seconds for the next switched in resonator. Why does this look so goddamn familiar? Yes, this is exactly like Yin Lin's passive. The only difference is this is for fusion element, Yin Lin's passive is for electro element. What does that make Chang Li? A support DPS. 
sure you can play her as a main dps just like you can do with yinlin but her primary role still stays as a support dps and that proves that she has better longevity than jinchi now her weapon her weapon is a five star sword which has attack and attack percentage the thing that makes this weapon really special is that it also has crit rate in built into it in the passive no conditions just flat crit rate which is really good in my opinion the other part of the passive is whenever you attack you gain stacks and when the stacks reach a certain amount you boost your resonance skill damage and you can stack up to 14 times it's pretty good but the main highlight is the crit rate and that was changli's kit now based on what we've understood so far from their kits it's clear to state that jinshi is more of a main dps and changli is more of a sub dps of course sub dps can be built as main dps as too but the chance of power creep is higher for main dps than sub dps for example let's take yinlin and kalchara for example we can even consider jian as an example jian and kalchara are both main dps and yinlin is a sub dps when a new arrow main dps comes out there's a high chance that jian is going to get power creep because the new arrow dps is stronger than him the same thing goes for an electro dps when a main electro dps comes out kalchara is going to get power creep but regardless of whether the new electro dps is stronger than kalchara or not yinlin is still going to be relevant because she boosts electro damage and the new electro character can still benefit from that the same analogy can be applied between jinshi and changli as well but do keep in mind they are new characters and they are not going to get power creep anytime soon but when you consider the long run changli will still remain relevant compared to jinshi And now for my closing thoughts. This goes without saying, but all characters are good and beautiful in their own way. Who you decide to pull for is totally up to you. If you like a certain character, definitely go for it. Do not chase the meta. This is one of my golden rules for Gacha game. But I like to give out information for people who go just beyond just looks and how they like the character. So what's the takeaway from this video? Changli is a better character than Jinshi for the long run. Changli is a sub DPS and Jinshi is a main DPS. Well that's it for my speculations. Hope you guys liked what I cooked in this video. This is purely theory crafting and for informational and entertainment purposes. Don't quote me if any of the information mentioned here gets changed when the characters come out on the live servers. Like I said, the information is still subject to change because we still have some time before the patch. With that being said, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Smash that like button and do consider subscribing to my channel as I'll be making a lot of Wuthering Waves content and I don't want you guys to miss out. I will also be covering Zenless Zone 0 when it comes out, so look out for lower videos on that too. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.